Tomorrow is just a touch of a holiday for many around the Tri-State. It's Kentucky Derby Day, an epic ride. Society man Chef Aaron is endlessly full of snack ideas to help you spend time with your family catching freedom. If you didn't know, I just put five derby horse names in that lead in. <laughs> Aaron gave me a challenge and challenge, a challenge accepted. Aaron, you have a stronghold on snacks I do. for the derby. I do. And when you're slicing <laughs> these tomatoes from 80 acres, just make sure you use just steel knives. All right? Oh, okay. So uh, it's, first a gonna, <laughs> it's a domestic product. It's a domestic product. First, we're going to start with uh, a little sandwich I made. Okay. Um, it's almost like a small hoagie, easy mm. to walk around with. Uh, quick relish on there, 80 acres tomatoes, they're going to be the best tomatoes money can buy right okay. now. They're locally grown, they're sweet, they're juicy. Uh, I made a little relish with the uh, tamed jalapenos. Mm. You're going to get that pickle in there, you're going to get that sweet, that spicy. Uh, and that's going on top of Boar's Head Sweet Bees Barbecue Chicken and Pepper oh, Jack. yum! So uh, what you do with that, that meat is you actually get it thick cut and shred it. Because they use whole muscle meats, you're allowed to shred it just like you would a rotisserie chicken. Oh, okay. So you can sh you shred it at home. You get it thick cut yeah, and then shred it, it at home. Yeah, you get it thick cut and shred Got it you. just like you would a rotisserie All right. chicken. And you use these little pretzel baron like, snack yeah. sticks for the bun. I think that's incredible. Easy to grab. Uh, goes great in the oven. I just baked it for about 8 to 10 minutes to melt that cheese, warm up that chicken. You're good yeah. to go. Yeah, okay. That that's looks, a really quick one. That looks delicious. You've got some pretzel bites over here that were, I just ate one during the commercial break. <laughs> Did you bring any West Saratoga chips, though? I no. did not. I okay, did not. That's all right. You brought the pretzel bites. That's even better. We're just catching better. freedom out here, enjoying ourselves. <laughs> so I have, uh, again, we've got the pretzel bear and pretzel bites. I have some Colby Jack, mm -hmm. and I cut the bacon in thirds. And what you're doing is you're just cutting that, that pretzel in half, and you're putting a chunk of Colby Jack in there. Right. Wrapping it with bacon, uh, skewering it with a toothpick. You can air fry it for seven minutes, or oh. you can bake it for about 18 to 20, depending on your oven. Uh, and I'm putting that with the new Garden Ranch yogurt base from Boar's Head. That's delicious. Fantastic. Good, good drinking food. Okay. Now, uh, you have a drink that will make us forever young. It will. It will. <laughs> it's your so take is, on the mint julep, right? Right. So yeah. I'm, I'm twisting it up just a little bit. So what I have is some seedless lemons. I don't have to bother with those. Mm -hmm. uh, I have about a teaspoon of sugar. And then we're going back to the 80 acres. Again, locally grown. We're mm -hmm. just going to squeeze that ourselves. Drop That's that the in mint, there. Right? Uh, that's the mint. Instead okay. of mint, we have basil. They have very similar oh, profiles. Basil. Okay. Very similar profiles. You're going to pour in the pomegranate. Uh, we'll go just a touch more in there. Now it's in my head. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then again, we're going to just free pour this here. Now, see, I think this to me would taste better. I'm, I'm not a huge mint julep fan. To me, it's yep. like drinking sugar. But this has a little bit more substance to it with the pomegranate so the in there. pomegranate's going to add tartness. These yeah. lemons, I feel, are actually a little bit sweeter than mm -hmm. a, uh, a traditional seeded lemon. Right. Uh, and what I have is this Swig Life cup. If you guys oh, haven't seen wow. these, check these out. Check out their website. This is Swig Life. They have a derby pattern. It's all across. They don't do their patterns on just cups. They actually have bags as well. Oh, that's great. Uh, so make sure you check that out. I uh, use one of their um, sleeves for like the seltzers. Just like that. Yeah, which is uh, but, yeah, really nice. But instead nice. it's going to be the seltzer instead of the bottle. Yeah. And what I have is uh, fresh pomegranate arils on top and okay. then more 80 acres basil. Oh, nice. And we're just going to pour that right in there. Mm. So instead of doing a mint julep, uh, this is my take on it today. That's and it's, great. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. You maybe, brought the fierceness. Maybe a little bit better for you as okay. well. That was 10 derby horse names. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. We'll be right back. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.